like, it's all on this USB drive. All the evidence you need to nail Typhon for Gabe's death and plenty more. All right. Bring it with you. I'll meet you in an hour. Thanks. Talk soon. Citizens of Haven Springs, we are live at the Spring Festival. One final reminder to head over to the Lathe flower cart and grab a rose before they're gone. At Haven's inaugural Spring Festival, eligible women of good stock and birthing age would offer up roses in order to attract a mate. What can I say? History is weird. Thankfully, we've lost the mating stuff, but kept the roses. And if you do have a special someone in mind, a rose is a great way to say you care. And an even better way to say, hey look, a rose. Sounds fun. Is giving away a rose something I'd do? Maybe. I can decide downstairs. For now, I'll grab the USB stick. It's very tempting to curl up with this all night instead of leaving my apartment. I'm thinking this will make an excellent after festival snack. Looks like the festival is already in full swing. I'm pretty nervous. Pretty, but not very Gabe. Why does he have this? Traditionally, you give roses to your crush at the Spring Festival, so... I've never had a girl give me flowers before. I'm sorry. I didn't know you cared so much about traditional gender roles. I'll get back to my butter churning and doilies. Shut up. You first. Don't worry. I'll come back. What are the chances your instruction manual is in here? Yeah, this one ornament will really bring my tree together. Ah, string lights. The key to unlocking the cozy places except for now, I'll grab the USB stick. I've been meaning to tell Jed about the sink, but I'm afraid he'll try to teach me how to fix it myself. I wish I could have helped Shar, but taking her pain away didn't feel right. Man, the latest issue gets dark. I'm sure Ethan will be fine. I've been playing more these past few weeks than the last few years. Feels nice. I'm about ready to start my own list. Will you be my date to the festival, Shushu? Shu? The world really doesn't deserve Thanor. Alexandra the Bard will ride again. The USB stick is on my desk. Okay, time to head downstairs. I think 
think I'll stick with Minesweeper from now on. Test, test. Check, check. Check. Holy shit, you own a skirt? Hey, guys. Happy first spring fest. Thanks. I got a hold of Pike. He'll be here soon. Once he sees what's on that stick, it's over for Typhon. Hence the celebration. <laughs> I think we've all earned the right to enjoy ourselves a little tonight. The band's coming on soon. You'd better be front and center. Oh, rad. Do you need help setting up for the show? Nah, it's all good. We're almost there. I have to run back to the trailer. Go be a normal person for a while. Can't make any promises. Text me when it's ready. If I wanted to give away a rose, Steph and Ryan would definitely be on my list. Anyway, time to enjoy the festival. Steph did a really great job putting all that together. Guess the festival started a while ago. Everything is so not fine. We're drugstore makeup from Seattle. We've got um, merch. Dude, count me in. I'm dying. Wish I could have seen drugstore makeup play. Two faced bitch. Maybe I could give a rose to Steph or Ryan. Two thirty two, two thirty three. 2.34. No. The red <sighs> one was 2.34. This game is so demoralizing. Wait. Why do Damn I do it. this to myself? Hmm. <sighs> Maybe I can help him somehow. One, two, three. Another year, another prize gift card for yours truly to keep. I'm such a little devil. Really? Come on, Jelly Bean Lady. That's not right. Hey there. Guess the exact number of jelly beans and win a prize. <laughs> Only one guess per person. The exact number? Is that how this game is supposed to work? You can go right after this determined young man. Hi. Oh, hey. Nice to see you. You're taking this jelly bean thing very seriously. Yeah, because the prize is a $100 gift card. 
Chrissy's been all anxious ever since she got lost. So, I thought I could get her a bunch of treats. Which is really embarrassing, saying it out loud. Not at all. That's sweet. Maybe I can help. Oh, for real? Are you good at this? How many jelly beans do you think there are? 300 ish. Huh. Yeah, could be. Feels like something just changed in that lady by the jar. Maybe I should read her. 300? What a nitwit. <laughs> Not even close. I was that far off? Maybe I should say something before he guesses wrong. Also, the hell is your problem, lady? <sighs> this game is so demoralizing. Hey, I've got another guess. Yeah? I think it's closer to 700. Yeah. 700 feels right. But we have to get it exactly. Just felt that lady's heart skip a beat. I should read her again. Hear me. They're really close to 731. Who is this girl? Hell yes! Your secret's mine. The answer is 731. Don't ask me how. 731 jelly beans. That's... That's correct. Yes! Thanks so much for your help. You rule. <laughs> no sweat. I can't believe it. How did she know? Just a lifetime of emotional trauma. Got pretty lucky there, didn't ya? Super lucky. Thanks again. Yeah, that was fun. I don't think this thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. Wow, this is a beautiful model. It happened last year. Yep. I remember it clear as day. Probably around 10 or 11 p.m. And he was already drunk as a skunk. Boy. And I'm not advocating for that kind of drinking, mind you. Despite my occupation, Springfest is different from the Lantern. We all agree. But anyway, he comes racing out of the diner, bowled over a couple of tables along the way. I see him hauling ass toward the dock, and I get on after him, because I know what he's aiming for. And sure as hell, this son of a bitch jumps right off the end of the dock and into the water. Smack. Belly flop. And the poor bastard is so drunk, he forgot he doesn't know how to swim. So I jump in there after him. Took a minute, but I dragged his ass back to dry land and we called him an ambulance just to be sure. He was fine though. So then, I gotta spend the rest of the night soaking wet, which doesn't bother me none, but everybody keeps offering me a bunch of goddamn towels. Next it's been morning, a hell of a month. He shows up but at this? my door with. Excuse me. Next morning, he shows up I love at my the radio door with a broadcast box of live chocolates. from the park. Right? Oh, hi, Val. They even looped you into participating, huh? This is awesome favorite time of the year, by far. That kind of enthusiasm is infectious.
So this is that whole communal gathering thing everyone's always going on about. Yep, I get it. I guess Riley is feeling sentimental tonight, but I haven't seen her around. Where is she? Okay, so there's this young farm maid in the elvish countryside. Sets out to Thank you, amazing. Steph. Thanks for helping me find the fun again. Sounds like Ethan wasn't the only one inspired by the LARP today. The kind she never expected to be friends with. Elf criminal. Good luck with that, sign. Looks like plenty of people are still out around town. No, Mom, it's not an emergency. Trust me, Typhon is not normal. I made a mistake coming here. Get out while you can, dude. Typhon is really... I don't know. Couldn't have said it better myself. Grand opening tomorrow! Free soup and salad. Gotta pull my shit together for this grand days. opening. These people won't be so gracious forever. We might. Free. F I'll take a coupon. No coupons, my dear. Just tell me your name and I'll remember it. All right. Alex Chen. Alex Chen? Didn't we speak already tonight? Nope. Oh, stupid. So stupid. Print some coupons, they said. It's a small town. I'll remember, I said. Oh, hubris. You know, you could try posting on my block. Whoever comments gets the deal. Oh. Well, that's a good idea. Best of luck. Nice. May the best small town diner win. Are you serious right now? A boot? A fucking boot? One, on my two, three. I okay. control so me. I One, two. Fuck! I don't control shit! Oof, sorry, man. We've all been there. Too bad I can't unlock doors with my emotions. You think you're making the world a better place? Think you're doing us. Lots of people still hanging out on Main Street tonight. The LARP was a lot of fun. Yeah, it was. God, I still like her so much. Think there's food? What do I do? Sorry, man. Forbidden love is a bitch. Someone special, huh? Time to deliver. I have a surprise for you. Good surprise or bad surprise? I didn't expect that him playing my favorite bridge. game would be a turn Get on. Out. But here we are. Romance. Looks pretty dead over there. Wait. Is someone standing out past the Bridge of Flowers? Pretty late for a bus ride. Let's 
just have to wait. That's all. Maybe Riley could do some company right now. Hey, Riley. Oh. Hey. What are you doing here? Just taking a walk. I needed a breather from all that socializing. I get that. I was supposed to leave on the bus tonight. So many hopes and dreams all poured into one fucking bus ride. But it's okay. Nana needs me now. She was there for me before, and now it's my turn. And I don't have to do it solo. I have Mac helping me. That's something. Eleanor is so lucky to have you. Thanks, Alex. Hang in there, okay? I will. Neighbors, come on. What are you so happy about? Been a while since I've seen you smile like that. It's that cake, that dragon-shaped ice cream cake. I feel like we're ice cream geniuses. We run this shit. Keep flexing, ice cream lady. I can't stop thinking about it. Could we do a castle-shaped cake box? The rose can wait for now, but I should give it away before the music starts. Man, Haven really parties at this festival, huh? Random ATV parked at a festival with a bunch of drunk people? go wrong. Hey, uh, hey, hello, everybody. Can I have your attention? Jed, what are you doing? I just wanted to take this opportunity to say, right here, in front of God and everyone, that Annette Teresa Foster is 
just the most beautiful woman in the world. They say the Spring Festival is about telling folks how you feel. And Anne, I feel like I'd just about die if I couldn't make you my wife. You had to go and make a scene, didn't you? This thing is checking IDs. Nobody tell Pike. Excuse me. I heard the call. to thank you. I know you tried to do the right thing. So, what now? I'm taking Typhon down, the whole hornet's nest. I'm not betting against you, but in the meantime, they're the only ones cutting checks in town. And if I want to keep Riley, I can't be broke. I guess I can't blame you. Money's money. Just keep your guard up, okay? It's always flattering to see how much you care about me. But you know I'm spoken for, right? Ugh. There's the Mac I know. <laughs> Take it easy, dude. You too. After party this year. God, after party? I just hope Riley is Come doing on. all right. Young man like yourself, you must know what the haps is. Honestly, I'm getting pretty bushed. You can have Colin in a night soon. My goodness, what is this town coming to? Used to be that the spring festival wasn't complete till everyone was either asleep in the park. There's no or in someone way to else's sample bed. everything on this table. Is there? In your day. The world's most unnecessary vodka delivery I'm system. About last year. Hi, Eleanor. Good evening, dear. The decorations really turned out beautifully. It must have been a huge amount of work. It's worth it. So. We doing shots tonight or what? Of course. Body shots? Who's going first? Just kidding. <laughs> or am I? <laughs> I better get going. Oh, I talked to Riley earlier. I think she's doing okay, in case you were worried. I so appreciate that, Alex. Thank you. Enjoy your night. You too. Oh, Mr. Lantern, I love what you've done with your bar.
I should give my rose to Steph or Ryan before the show. Doing this takes a certain type of person, and I am not that person. Hey, Steph. This is for you. Are you serious? Of course I am. Dude, thank you so much. This totally makes my night. I'm glad. Hey, could we meet up after the show tonight? I actually have some pretty big news to share. She said mysteriously. <laughs> of course. Speaking of, Ryan should be done any minute. Meet me there? Sure. Hey. Oh, hey. Just in time. So, who's playing? Yours truly. Seriously? That's awesome! Well, wait, who else? Steph. Who else is playing? I hate you both. We didn't want you to wuss out. <laughs> Who said anything about wussing out? Nobody, but only because we didn't give you the opportunity. This is gonna be awesome, trust me. <sighs> um... We've never played together before, and, uh... Anyway... Sorry if this sucks. <sighs> Fuck it.
I was horrible to you earlier. You really weren't. Really? Then I fucked up because I was trying pretty hard to be horrible to you. <laughs> I was so excited about you coming to Haven. In my mind, the way I built it up, we were gonna be best friends. <laughs> I wish... There's still time. Maybe. I guess we'll see. You okay? No. But... Well, you know. I'm gonna go home. Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. Okay, I gotta admit, this is a pretty great feeling.
It was so fun watching Jed play the villain. What a good sport. Jed bought this as a treat for the regulars. And himself, I'm guessing. Well played, kitchen staff. Odds are pretty good. I'm grabbing a cup later tonight. Hey, you can't tell me what to do. Go, marmots! What's a marmot again? It's not the same without you, Tabitha. Never was, never will be. Tabitha. Hey, Ducky. Who's Tabitha? Do you want to talk about her? You know, Alex, on this particular matter, I don't have much to say. Okay. There's got to be more I can do for Ducky. Okay, tell me what I need to know to help him. You know, I carved that myself. Oh, hi, I'm Reginald McAllister III. My friends call me Ducky. <laughs> Tabitha Baker. Call me Tabs. Drink it. Look at the bottom. What? What are you? Uh, oh, Ducky. It's beautiful. Tabitha Baker, will you marry me? Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. I know that song. Poor Ducky. Maybe there's some... Happy anniversary, love. Here's to another 30 years. And another 30 festivals, if we can make it. Ducky, you're gonna outlast this whole damn town. It's a tough night for you, isn't it? The Spring Fest? That's right. Give me one sec. did you they're playing your song let's dance that each new step is somehow preordained I've not traveled this way i
You know what reminds me most of her right now? It's not the song or the festival. It's that you took the time to care about a sad old man for no other reason than to make the world a little less troublesome. And that was Tabs. Thank you, Alex. I think I'm a little more inclined to join the others outside. You're very welcome. Enjoy the festival. Ugh. Not tonight. Sounds like Steph wants to meet me on the rooftop. to the party, but I should get to the rooftop eventually. Typhon is not normal. I made a mistake coming here. Autograph? <laughs> okay. I, I'm, I'm serious. Oh, uh, sure. Find me later, all right? Awesome. Th thank you so much. Holy shit. Holy shit. She actually spoke to me. Okay. I'm flattered. The spring fest is pretty cool, but I should probably head up to the rooftop.
Uh, you said you have some news? I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving Haven Springs. Can you believe it? Back on the road again. Fucking finally. Wait, seriously? I'm gonna play music again, Alex. Anywhere I want. God, I forgot how fucking good it feels. <sighs> Holy shit, Steph, that's so cool. I'm really happy for you. You better keep in touch. You think it's that easy to get rid of me? Come on, Chen. I need a new destination. <sighs> You're my good luck charm. You have shit taste in good luck charms. <laughs> Shut up. Pick one. Berlin. Fuck yeah. Bowie recorded Heroes in Berlin, and that record slaps. Where am I gonna live there? Some big loft with concrete floors and exposed brick walls. I'll brood on the fire escape, writing lyrics in my leather-bound journal, and drinking absinthe straight from the bottle. Ugh. Someday. They turn the place into a museum. Steph Gingrich recorded blah, blah, blah here. And it slaps. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds like a pretty spectacular plan. Great. Then come with me. To Berlin? Sure, why not? Doesn't have to be our first stop, but one day... I still have friends in Seattle who book shows. Maybe we start there, or, I don't know, Kansas City, Vegas, wherever we want. Look, I don't want to pressure you, but I've seen you give so much of yourself to make sure other people get what they need. And I guess I wonder if you've thought about what you need. I mean, obviously, I like you a lot, Alex. You mean the fucking world to me. Kiss me, kiss me, kiss me, kiss me. You don't have to decide anything now, okay? <laughs> Just think about it. I will. Thank you. I'm gonna head back down. Find me later.
Hey, Gabe. Can I tell you something? I think I solved it. Why you died. Who's responsible? Isn't that crazy? I'm out of threads to pull. Which is terrifying. Because on the other side of all this, after Typhon, after you, there's just... normal life. I was kind of counting on you to show me how to do that. But I think I can figure it out. I just wish you were here to see it. Oh, um, also, I kissed Steph, so that happened. Alex, do you have the USB drive? I do. It's all here. Gabe's call, their secret plan, the cover-up. You need to come with me to the station. Alex, don't make this hard. Probably isn't how you pictured your first spring festival, huh? Not exactly. Coffee? I'm all right. Thanks, though. Good. Because we're, uh, actually out. Pike, why am I here? The long and short of it is, Diane is charging you with stealing her USB drive. What the hell are you talking about? Did you steal this USB drive or not? At least tell me you looked at it. I can't. Sorry. What do you mean? Why not? Well, one, I would need a warrant. And two, the case is closed. The order came down today. I did what I could, but, you know, the evidence just wasn't there. Sorry, Alex. I have the evidence. Right here. It doesn't matter. Look. What happened to my brother wasn't an accident. It was criminal. The files on that drive prove it. That could be true. But let's say it is. The issue is you stole Typhon's property. I can't work with that.
Okay, I get the point. I'm sorry I stole the drive, but... Apologizing isn't enough. Alex, you're not thinking about this clearly. Seems pretty clear to me. Diane wants to charge you with computer fraud. That's a federal crime, Alex. Five to ten, easy. You know what? Fuck Diane. This isn't justice. This is a joke. It's not that bad. Hey, I talked to her, and despite how angry she is at everything you did, she's willing to let it go. If you agree to drop everything, Typhon won't press any charges. She's only offering that deal because she knows I have her. She's guilty, Pike. Even if you're right, your only evidence is inadmissible. I think you should do it. Fuck that. I'm not signing anything. Alex. No. Typhon buried something in the mountains. Something so massive they ignored Gabe's call and set off the blast just to cover it up. Don't you want to know what it is? What do you mean, cover it up? Another blast, unannounced, set off at the exact same time at the old mining site. And all of it happened just a few weeks before inspections were set to begin. Come on, Pike. It's all right here. Like I said, it doesn't matter. Alex, please, just sign the form and we can both go back to the party. No. Alex, this is not an offer that you can choose. I said no. No is not an option. What are you so scared of? See for yourself. Shit. What could be in that envelope? Fuck me. Is this a threat? What did you expect? Huh? The Typhon, a global organization with billions in revenue, an army of lawyers, and who knows how many politicians in their pockets would just what, throw up their hands and say, you got us. I thought I could get justice for Gabe. Yeah. Well, Typhon has their own idea of justice. Shit. Believe me, I want nothing more than to make these fuckers pay. I've learned the hard way that it's not possible. They're too big. Too connected, too ruthless. You can hate me if you want. Call me a coward. But I don't want to lose you like we lost Gabe. Pike is terrified of Typhon. I bet if I took his fear away. But it's not just about me. Steph and Ryan are in danger too. Fuck. I want to hurt Typhon so bad. 
But can I really put their lives at risk along with mine? All I have to do is sign? Yeah. <clears throat> Next marks the spot. Can't turn back now. Time to sign my soul away. Thank you, Alex. You did the right thing. I can't believe this. I had them. How did it go so wrong? I have no idea what to do next. Maybe talking to Jed will help me feel better. First, I need to get out of this dress. It was special for me too, Steph. Enjoy that ice cream. I'm glad Ducky had a nice night. He deserves it. Time for a change of clothes. Might as well go talk to Jed now. Hey, Jed. There she is. Have a seat. Something tells me you've had a more exciting spring festival than you planned for. You saw Pike arrest me. And let you go, apparently. Then there's that business with Ryan and Steph earlier today. I wasn't sure why it took all three of you to work out Diane's lunch order. I know you're used to looking out for yourself. Gabe was like that. But Haven's a community. We help each other. I want to help you. But first, 
you have to let me know what's going on. Fuck it. What have I got to lose? Typhon killed Gabe. I have proof. What proof? I stole it from Diane. Emails and documents proving there was a second explosion the night Gabe died. To cover something up, Jed. Some secret they buried. I don't know what it is. I don't even know what to do next. But I'm not giving up. Not ever. I know what they're hiding. Please, Jed. What's the truth? What are they afraid of? Typhon's the devil that runs this town. I've been carrying their secrets for far too long. I know what they buried in the mountains. Tell me. I'll do one better. I'll show you. There, up ahead. Where are we? Middle of nowhere. About two clicks that way is the mining site where you search for Ethan. Five clicks that way is town. What is this thing? Ventilation shaft. They're scattered everywhere. Over the years, mines grow into mines, creating a labyrinth under Haven. What you're searching for is down below. Jed. Why are you sad? I'm sorry, kid. Jed, what are you doing? I tried to talk you out of it, scare you off. I was sure those pictures of Ryan and Steph would do the trick, but you were relentless. Won't leave damn well enough alone. You don't have to do this. I do. Twelve years ago, I made a mistake. The kind of thing that you... you can't undo. But Typhon made me a deal. A way to save my town. Give my boy a normal life. I never wanted Gabe to get hurt. Go to hell. 